Whilst the global pandemic has presented some oil and gas majors with immediate challenges, one renewable clean energy form is counting on sunny days ahead. Salima Saeed shed some light on regional developments in the solar power sector. Free, plentiful, and with the ability to power cities, the sun's rays can energize our lives with less damage to our planet than fossil fuels. Discovered by French scientist Edmond Bacquerel in the 1830s, generating solar energy is now the fastest growing electricity source today. How does it work? Light rays reach the Earth in about 8 minutes. They collide with electron-charged solar panels and create a surge of energy called the photovoltaic effect. Leading the charge in the Middle East is the UAE, which has some of the highest solar exposure rates in the world. Currently, the country still gets most of its energy from fossil fuels, but by investing more than $163 billion in clean energy, it plans to increase its use of it by up to 50% by 2050. The country's solar endeavors started in 2013, and Abu Dhabi's massive Noor Solar Power Plant launched last year. Bigger still, and set to become one of the world's largest solar plants, is a project by Abu Dhabi Power in the UAE's Al Dhafra region, which the company claims will generate the world's cheapest solar power for around 160,000 households by 2022. So what does a sun-powered world look like? Mubadala's Mustar city sought answers in 2008, building a 6 square kilometer future sustainable city in the UAE capital. With about a third of its power generated on site from solar panels, overall consumption is reduced by up to 60%, slashing carbon emissions and saving residents money. If that's the case, then why isn't everybody today using solar? Well, sun power has its limits. It's a good economical uh, choice. However, it's a partial uh, supply of electricity. It's an intermittent source that can supply electricity only at the daytime. When you, when you start implementing storage systems, it becomes more expensive. Batteries are still more expensive, and we have still to work a lot in order to bring down the system price to an affordable level. In partnership, Mustar says, is how they're advancing the competitiveness of renewables consulting in countries from Asia to North Africa, not least Morocco, where CSP technology, a form of harnessing the sun's electric energy through use of mirrors, is powering up. We studied the options of having batteries, we studied uh, the option of having molten salt, and eventually we found out that the optimum solution that will benefit our client is to have uh, a photovoltaic plant plus with CSP and a molten salt storage that can provide uh, the required electricity at the time, uh, you know, day and night at, uh, at the lowest cost possible. We are seeing all over the world uh, different, uh, different projects that really adapt renewable energy. Uh, the, you know, the, the, the main driver is, uh, you know, the public awareness about the importance of ad to adapt renewable energy. The International Renewable Energy Agency estimates that by 2050, global demand for energy will nearly double. Renewable energy forms like solar use around 200 times less water than coal plants to create the same amount of electricity. And solar can also create water, with reverse osmosis. By desalinating water with 75% less energy compared to thermal methods. The Pan-Arab Clean Energy Initiative in 2013, targeting more clean energy dependence by 2030, has inspired other regional countries like Saudi Arabia. In projects like Neom, a carbon-free megacity, almost the size of Belgium, powered only by renewable sources. A sign of things to come, say some experts, as the region shifts away from fossil fuels. So it's an unstoppable development. In the next couple of decades, uh, solar and other renewables in the GCC will be the bulk of the power generation. With renewables being the future, the old guard oil and gas industry won't fade entirely into the past. One of its capabilities, some say, will be creating greener electricity and splitting hydrogen from water. 
and hydrogen can replace natural gas. So what you can then do is you can basically build on the, uh, the, in, the industrial and intellectual capacity that the region has in the oil and gas sector and transfer it to green molecules and send those molecules to, to markets all over the world. Perhaps not only pointing to a bright future for renewables, but also a ray of light for the traditional energy sector.